Okay, we're here at IoT World and AI Summit. With me today, I'm happy to say, is Marco Party from Informa. Welcome. Hello. How are you so, doing, Chuck? Yeah. Good, so let's talk about live shows. Uh, this is one of the big ones, obviously, and you've been to shows for a long time. Uh, can you talk about the move to live shows in general, then we'll talk about this one? The move to live shows in general, you mean over the last 20, 30, 20, 24 yes, months? Yes, yeah. Mean, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, listen, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute um, joy to be back in front of our customers, with our, with our teams, with, you know, being able to, to see each other and shake hands and, and do business face to face again. Um, we're, we're really now starting to see the events come back online. And uh, you know, we really started to see them you know, maybe starting in, in August here in the US. And it's, it's been a little bit up and down. I think we've, we've, um, you know, we've, been, we've been feeling pretty good about the environment for hosting events, particularly when, when you're able to put controls and safety controls and people feel comfortable coming back. But um, it, it's really clear that um, the communities are thrilled to be back, or they're happy to be able to see their customers as well face to face and get all the, uh, accomplish all the kinds of things that you can do so well here in a physical environment. So yeah, this is now the fourth of our events, uh, in our group anyway, uh, and for Informa, I think it's maybe our, our, our Informa Tech, it's our ninth or 10th event. So uh, yeah. looking at the events that, that started, say this year, are you seeing a progression in terms of growth of um, live, live attendees? Yes, of course. I think as we get, we get further on into the year and as, as vaccination rates increase and COVID rates decrease, um, certainly more, more and more people are getting comfortable in, in, in the physical environment and in fact want to be back. So we are certainly seeing a progression um, event by event is really different. So it really depends on what region you're in, what, what city you're in, what the, what the sort of local regional situation is. But for the most part, yes, we are, we are seeing an increase in demand incrementally uh, improving. Right, yep. so going forward, pre presuming and this is a big presumption, that COVID was gone. What do the events of the future look like? Well, I think, I think first of all, we're not losing all the lessons that we've learned throughout. Uh, in terms of how to apply a digital component, how to apply um, uh, technology in, in, the, in the way of allowing customers that can't be here to be a part of it. So that's, that's actually been one of, the, one of the great learnings. We were forced on sort of a, a, a crash learning curve of how to produce digital events and actually we've gotten pretty good at them. And, and, and the, the package isn't perfect and it's certainly not the same as a, a in-person physical event. But they're pretty good. I mean, you're able to deliver the content through a nice platform that allows the community to engage. In many cases, allows the, the content to be digested live or even on demand is, is great and uh, allows the community to interact. And so I see moving forward that that will certainly for the near term or the midterm be a part of the events that we run. So I think, I think we will have for some time um, both a physical component and a virtual component. And then a lot of the tools uh, that we are applying to the experience here. So you have a lot of things in Inform under you. How do you see them all being glued together? Because events is just really one component. It's a big one. Yeah, Chuck, yeah, so thanks. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, um, it, is, it is a large component of what we do. Um, but I'll say that the, 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 the way that we're now oriented here, and, and I run a group that's focused on horizontal technologies um, here with AI and IoT, we have um, a really nice portfolio of events, virtual events, physical events. Um, we have, we have um, an, an amazing um, uh, research and intelligence and consulting arm in the Omdia business. And we have a very robust media and online community as well. And we've really woven those, those pieces together to allow us to reach our customers and to deliver knowledge in any way that, that our community wants to, to uh, digest it. So what does that look like in the future? Yeah, I, I think more tightly integrated, more seamless. Um, you, you know, you you will you will be watching a video that's produced at one of our shows. You will you will see a research report that is um, uh, you know information from interviews that have that have that have been conducted at, at the event. You'll see an article that comes out in the website, and you'll see uh, um, uh, you know perhaps our community coming together at Visionaires, which is they're celebrating here on site and then they're back online in their online community 
sharing and, and um, learning from each other and interacting and and uh, I think you just you just it's going to be a virtuous circle across the, the so, many so, platforms. So yeah. when we're sitting here a year from now, what will we be talking about? Uh, if we're sitting here a year from now, we're 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 going to be talking about how much further forward the market has moved. Um, we will be talking about the seamless integration of of, of technology and um, and platforms. I think we'll be I think we'll be talking about a much more robust year from a business standpoint, and, and even, um, as we know, technology being sort of at the, at the forefront of any, and of any movement, it's, it's going to be, it's technology that sustained us through this period, it'll be technology that leads us out, and how we use artificial intelligence, quantum computing, I think will be um, top of mind, certainly. Well, I look forward to the discussion in a year. Thank yeah, you very much. I'll, I can't wait to get back. All right, thank you. Thanks very much.